Kreuzer Pub to the spooky Halloween PSN sale. Don't worry, I've put on my big boy pants and I've looked through all the scary games for you and found some really cool games that are on really big discounts. So if you like finding cool new games to play and saving a lot of money along the way, then you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe and you're welcome here anytime. This sale ends on the 1st of November, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up, we have a VR game, Apex Construct. It was released in 2018, so it's four years old, and it's on at least a 60% discount for the price of £3.19 or £1.59 with PS Plus, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic deal for PS Plus members only. This is a PSVR 1 game, and move controllers are required, so if you don't have them, you can't play them, and that's great, because these sorts of games are much better with motion controls, so I wouldn't play them without it. In this action-adventure RPG, you get to explore a shattered future, where two AI are locked in an endless war, and you must explore and solve puzzles to reveal the world's secrets, while collecting resources to upgrade your weapons and equipment along the way. And it also features a challenge mode with leaderboards as well, so if you like trying to top the leaderboards, then you'll get a lot of fun in that mode as well. Now you know I'm a big fan of VR, and this is a really good VR game. It was properly made from the ground up for VR originally, and then ported to PlayStation, and it's a really decent game. It's a proper full adventure game with puzzles and a story, and for VR, you can't ask for much more. Those are some of the best sorts of games you can play in VR, and this looks like a really good quality one for a really low price, especially if you've got PS Plus, it's a really good deal. I've never seen it anywhere near that price before. So if you've got a PSVR 1 and you love VR adventure games, then you should definitely check this out. This is one of the best ones on the platform, and I think you'll have a lot of fun if you like this sort of game. And hey, if you've never played a VR adventure game before, then you definitely could start here. It's a really good quality game at a really good price. You do have a few other options in this genre though, so if you're not into the story of this one or the vibe of it, then there are others you can pick up instead. But don't worry, I'll let you know when they're on sale next, so you won't miss out. Our next game is Book of Demons. It was released in 2020, so it's four years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £1.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal for a cool little indie game. In this hack and slash RPG, which is set in a pop-up book, it's inspired by Diablo, but applies its own unique systems, and it features a card-based system for combat, equipment, and skills, plus a flexible system designed to help manage your gameplay time effectively. Now, Diablo is obviously a legendary series, but has fallen off more recently, and games like Baldur's Gate have taken over the mantle for that sort of gameplay. But hey, if you like that sort of game and you've played the big ones already, this looks like a cool little indie game, based on a really good series, with some interesting and unique systems that'll make it a bit different. So if you like the sound of this, why not check it out? I really like the aesthetic of this game, and it looks like a pretty cool game with some cool ideas. So if you like this sort of genre, you should probably check it out. I bet it'll be really fun if you like this sort of thing. And hey, if you've never played a hack and slash RPG before, then you could definitely start here. It may be an indie game, but it's really cheap, and it looks like a really cool and unique little game. You do have other games you could play as well though, but most of them are bigger AAA ones that are more expensive than this. So it's up to you really. You could either start here, or you could spend a bit more money and pick up a bigger game in a different sale instead. Cardpocalypse Time Warp Edition is our next game. It was released in 2020, so it's four years old, and it's on at least a 75% discount for the price of £6.74 or £5.39 with PS Plus, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal for an interesting little game, as this edition includes the Out of Time Story expansion, a roguelike mode, and the soundtrack as well, so you're getting the complete vision of the game, with all of the extra content, and even a bit extra as well, which is really nice. In this card battler, on her first day at school, Jess gets everyone's favourite card game banned, forcing card battling underground as mutants from the game invade real life, leaving Jess and her friends to save everyone. It features friends, cards, and the 90s for a really cool and funny vibe to the game. Whoever made this game's got a really cool sense of humour, because this game's pretty funny and it's based on some interesting and funny tropes from my childhood, which I find very amusing. But underneath, it looks like a really good card battler, so if you're into games where you get to collect cards, build decks, and then fight to win, you'll really enjoy this game. There's not really a lot of card battling games around, and this looks like a really cool and different indie game, with a really cool aspect and unique spin on the story and the theming. My gut feeling says it's a really cool game, and I'm surprised I haven't heard more about it before. So if you're into card battlers and indie games, definitely check this out. It looks very different and very cool. 
And hey, if you've never played a card battler before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here, because it's a bit of an indie game, and also the price isn't that cheap right now. You can pick up other games a little cheaper than this, and a lot of them are bigger or more AAA games than this as well. So you may not have a lot of options in this genre, but you do have good ones, and you just might be better off picking up a different game in another sale instead. Oh look, Pokemon ripoffs. Nexomon and Nexomon Extinction Complete Collection. It was released in 2022, so it's two years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the low price of £2.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal, as this includes both games and the PS4 and PS5 versions, if they're available because there's not a PS5 version for both. In these Monster Trainer RPGs, you get to set off on two full adventures to become a Nexomon Training Grandmaster as you collect over 600 monsters from nine different elemental types, and you might even save the world along the way. Now I'm a big fan of Pokemon, I had a Game Boy as a kid and I played a load of games and a lot of Pokemon games. And I really love them, even now I'm still nostalgic for them and I like to play them every now and again. The problem is I think the modern ones are a bit rubbish compared to the originals and they've got a bit too simplistic and accessible. I'd love to see an adult version with a bit more challenge to the game. But in any case, on PlayStation you can't pick them up, but you can pick these up, and these look like really good rip-offs. If you're into Pokemon or monster training catching games, you should definitely check these out. You're getting two for a really good price, so I think you'll have a lot of fun with them. It's just a shame they don't do a Vita cross-buy anymore, because back in the day I'm sure you'd get this on Vita as well, for free, and it'd be really great. But anyway, if you like Pokemon games as much as I am, check these out. They're as close as you're going to get on this platform, and you don't have many options outside of it. So if you like the look of them as much as I do, why not check them out? They look like a really good deal for two really cool games. And hey, if you've never played a Monster Trainer before, then they're really good and they're a lot of fun. But you don't have a lot of options outside of Pokemon, and this is one of the few on PlayStation. But hey, you're getting two really good games for a really low price. So if you've always been tempted, why not take a look at this? They may not be the most AAA games ever made, but they look like a lot of fun for the price. So why not check it out if you like the sound of that? Paper Cup Mansion is our next game. It was released in 2022, so it's two years old, and it's on at least a 75% discount for the price of £3.99 or £3.19 with PS Plus, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal for a really cool looking game. In this roguelike horror game, you get to explore a paper craft mansion, floor by floor, as Toby, a police detective, as you seek to unravel the mystery of the mansion by collecting evidence over multiple runs to complete your evidence board and finally solve the puzzle. Now the thing that looks really cool to me about this is the aesthetic. Being paper craft and the way it looks is really cool and unique. Now roguelikes are very popular and to me they're a bit hit and miss. It needs to be one that suits you for you to really love it. But if it doesn't, you won't like it at all. What I really like about this game is the aesthetic. The paper crafting really intrigues me. And the idea that you're a detective with a mystery that you're solving through multiple runs. I like that idea. It's a bit of a different twist. And for roguelike, I think it'll give you that bit more incentive to play more runs and really get the whole mystery solved. Now, this game does have some mixed reviews. A lot of people seem to really like it and some people really don't. But hey, the aesthetic looks really cool to me, and I think for people that like this genre, you'll enjoy it because it's different. I find when I've played a genre a lot, I get interested by more different games in the genre, and I'll play different games that may not be the best, just because they have different ideas or a different spin on the genre. And I think this is one of those games. It looks like a decent game with a cool spin on the genre. So if you like the look of it, definitely check it out. And hey, if you've never played a roguelike horror game before, then you could start here. It looks like a different and unique game at a really good price. But the roguelike genre is jam-packed. You have tons of options and loads of AAA and indie games as well. So if you're not too sure about it, don't worry. There'll be plenty more games for you to choose from in future sales instead. Up next, we have Zoom, Speedrunners from Hell. It was released in 2018, so it's six years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £1.29, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal for a really unique little game. In this 3D platformer, you play a first-person speedrunning game where you must run, jump, teleport, fly, bounce, and drop in a hundred merciless levels to save your soul. Now, it's basically a game designed to be a speedrunning game. Now, I know most speedrunners play normal games and just try to do them really quickly in inventive ways, but this isn't that sort of game. It's basically a time trial game where the whole point of the game is to do each level as fast as possible and do really well. Now, that's not going to appeal to everyone, but you'll know if that's you or not. And if that's the sort of game that you really like the sound of and you know you'll get hooked into, then definitely check this out. It looks like a really cool game at a really low price, and if you're interested, I think you'll have a lot of fun. And hey, if you've never played a speedrunning game before, because let's be honest, there's not a lot of them around, if there's any more than this, then you definitely could start here. It's a really cool little game at a really low price. 
But if you're not interested, don't worry, there's plenty more games for you to choose from in this sale and others as well. We have another VR game next, the Exorcist Legion VR Complete series. It was released in 2018, so it's 6 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £4.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal, as this includes all 5 chapters of the series for the complete game. Now there is a PS5 version for the PSVR 2, but it's not on sale, and there's no upgrade to it, so if you buy this version, you can't upgrade, and you'll have to buy the PS5 version separate. So just make sure you're picking up the right version, in this VR horror, motion controllers are required, which is great because games like this are better with it than without. You get to immerse yourself in the world of The Exorcist as you investigate five chapters full of demonic horror as you explore one of the darkest and most forgotten places imaginable. It features artifacts and exorcism equipment from the film as well, so if you're a fan of the movies, there's some cool references in the game as well. Now I have seen some bad reviews about this game, but most of them are down to performance, and that seems to have been worked out since the launch of the game, and what I can tell from more recent reviews is that they fixed those bugs, and the game plays really well now. Pretty much the only negative thing I hear is that it's a bit short, but hey, if you're into horror games in VR, and you like The Exorcist, this looks like a really cool game, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it, if you can handle the scares, that is. So if you've got a PSVR 1 and you're looking for a cool horror game, then why not check this out? I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun getting your pants scared off. So why not take a look if you like the sound of it? And hey, if you've never played a VR horror game before, then you could start here. It's a really decent game from a big franchise at a pretty good price. Now, horror is the biggest genre in VR, so you have a ton of options. Some will be cheaper than this, some will be more expensive than this, but there's also a lot of franchises as well, like the Blair Witch. So you have a lot to choose from, and if this isn't the sort of game that really appeals to you, don't worry, there'll be plenty more to choose from in future sales instead. We have a point-and-click adventure next. The Inner World. It was released in 2017, so it's 7 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the price of £1.19, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, for non-PS Plus members. In this point-and-click adventure, it's set in an underground world, where Robert is a novice wind monk who teams up with the mysterious thief Laura in order to find out why the wind fountains have stopped providing the air to the people, and now their very survival is threatened. These days, the point-and-click genre is not really a big genre, and it's not really that popular or prevalent, but you do see a lot of indie games making them, or remasters of older games, and they're a pretty cool little genre. If you're into puzzle games, then you might want to check this sort of game out. A lot of the times, they have obtuse puzzles that can be a bit frustrating, but they usually have pretty cool little stories, and they're nice little adventures with a ton of puzzles and usually quirky humour. So if you're a fan of point-and-click adventures, and you haven't played this series, then why not take a look at this one, and the sequel's on sale as well, so if you want to pick up both, you could as well. They look like really cool little point-and-click adventure games, and fans of the genre will probably enjoy them a lot. And hey, if you've never played a point-and-click adventure before, then you could definitely start here. It looks like a good quality game, and it's at a really low price as well, so it's a really good place to start. But hey, the only difference between most of the point-and-click adventures is the theming and the characters, so if you like another one with a different story or a different theme, then wait for that one to come on sale instead and then you can always come back to this if you like the genre. And the final game I have for you is my star by The Quarry. It was released in 2022, so it's two years old, and it's on a slightly different discount for both platforms. So on PS4 it's on an 86% discount for the price of £8.39, and on PS5 it's on an 87% discount for the price of £8.44. So they're basically the same price, but there is a slight difference between the platforms. But it is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal for a big AAA game that's quite new as well. Now, there is a deluxe edition that includes both the PS4 and the PS5 versions, and some extra cosmetics, but the cosmetics don't seem to be worth the extra cost to me, so the only reason I would buy the deluxe edition is if you want the PS4 and PS5 versions, because you can't upgrade them, so unless you buy the deluxe edition, you'll be stuck with whatever version you buy. So if you want both, pick up the deluxe when that's on sale, but if not, just pick up the one you want. They're both basically the same price, just make sure you're picking up the right one for the platform that you want it for. In this story-driven adventure game, at the end of summer camp, during a celebration party, things take a turn for the worse as blood-drenched locals and something more sinister stalks the camp. It features a star-studded cast, a dynamic story that changes with the decisions you make, an 8-player offline and online multiplayer as well, which is really cool. I haven't seen multiplayer in these sorts of games before, and that's a really cool and unique aspect that they've added. I think if you've got a lot of friends to play it with, then you could have a ton of fun with this game, especially online or locally at a party or something. It might be a lot of fun. 
Now, this is from a studio that has a ton of experience in this genre. They make the Dark Anthology games, but also they made the Until Dawn game, which I completed and really enjoyed. I know a lot of people don't like this sort of genre because they're like, it's not really a game, there's not a lot of gameplay to it. But if you like story-driven games and you like playing them to find out the story and making the different choices to see how it changes things, then you'll have a lot of fun with this game. I enjoyed Until Dawn and I platinumed it. I had a lot of fun seeing all of the different stories and seeing the different ways that it could play out. So if you're a fan of the Telltale games, or the Life is Strange series, or the Until Dawn game, then you'll have a lot of fun with this. It may not be everyone's genre, but if you like it, then you'll have a lot of fun with it, and this is a really good deal for a really big AAA game. You can't get a bigger AAA version of this than this game right now. So if you like the sound of it, why not check it out? It may not be for everyone, but if it's for you, you'll have a lot of fun with this game. Why not check it out? Like I said, it's my star buy. It's well worth your time and money, I promise. And hey, if you've never played a story-driven adventure before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. You can get other ones that are cheaper than this, and even big AAA ones that are the same sort of quality, like Until Dawn, is cheaper than this on sale as well. So I would say it's a really good game at a really good price, but if you're not sure, you've got plenty of other games you could start with instead, but if you're really interested in this game, then go for it, it is a good deal. But if not, don't worry, I'll let you know when the other games are on sale in the future. And that's all the games I have for the spooky Halloween PSN sale. Now, I hope you enjoyed your Halloween, I hope you didn't get too crazy, and I hope you don't get too sick off all of the chocolate you eat. But hey, enjoy yourself, and have fun. Now, what did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones, or did I pick bad ones? And what about the star buy? Did I deserve it, or should some other game have got it instead? Leave all your comments below, and we can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys found some really cool games to play, but more importantly, I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Au revoir.